Welcome to Chapter 4. In Chapter 1 we talked about how to work with culverts and introduced the concept of vertical control. Vertical control slows powerful water so that it no longer erodes banks and downcuts channels, and so natural healing can begin. In Chapter 2 we talked about control of grade, or slope of the stream bed, using one rock dams. In Chapter 3, we showed you how we built a vertical control structure called a Sunni bowl, how it needed repairs after unusually heavy rains, and how we fixed it. Here, we'll show you how to build a log drop as an alternative to the Sunni bowl. As the name suggests, log drops are made out of wood, in this case, incense cedar saplings. We use them because they were available locally, donated by our partners from the Thule River Tribal Council and resistant to decay. You can use other kinds of wood such as old fence posts or lumber, but not wood that has been chemically treated. Log drops, as you can see in this photo, are an overlapping series of platforms made of wood, kind of like rafts. The platforms are wired together to keep them in place and combined with fabric that traps sediment but allows water to pass through. We continued working in the deeply downcut portion of the stream bed that is shaded by oaks and button bush and that had cattle loafing in it for many years. Because there was a long stretch of downcutting, we installed multiple structures, beginning with the Sunni bowl and below it, two log drops. The log drops served two functions. The first was to provide vertical stability by slowing powerful water, and the second was to act as a great control for the structure above it. The upper log drop caused sediment to settle and build below the Sunni bowl, and the lower log drop caused sediment to settle and build between itself and the upper log drop. Kind of two for the price of one, here's the end result. We began by grubbing out the two log drop areas down to bare soil and shaping them to accept the logs because logs are rigid and long and, unlike rock, not easy to fit and key in piece by piece. At the upper end of the structure, we install geotextile. Geotextile is a specialized fabric that we had on hand from another project. You can use other materials, for example, burlap. These fabrics come in biodegradable and non-biodegradable forms, and they allow water to pass through while trapping sediment. This prevents water from piping through between and under the logs because cylindrical objects have spaces between them when they are packed together. They're just not honeycomb. The log layers are built and overlapped in an offset manner, like a set of stairs, and then posts are driven alongside them to allow the smooth, twisted wire to be anchored across the logs to keep them in place because wood floats. You can't see the post here as they are driven flush. Then, wire staples are hammered in to keep the wire in place and further strengthen the structure. Finally, gravel and road base are added to the edges, all around and packed down. Water cascades down this staircase of logs, slowing and dropping sediment below the structure. The sediment will act as a fertile planting bed for vegetation to grow and help stabilize the structure and the stream channel. As with the one rock dams we discussed in chapter two, if more stability is required over time, another log drop layer can be built on the existing ones and displaced upstream. Also, as with the one rock dams, the log drops will disappear as the stream bed is raised back to its original level and you can expect the logs to eventually rot and contribute to the soil. The posts and wire and staples will be around for a much longer time. This first picture shows the upper log drop from below, that is, downstream. The arrow points to an obstacle to flowing water caused by the gap between an incense cedar log and the anchoring boulder. Neil will explain the rest. So whenever you build a drop structure, you always want to build a grade control four to eight times the height of the structure downstream from the drop structure. And what that does is it creates another kind of like plunge pool riffle section. And 
to dissipate the energy as it's moving down the drop structure, as well as if there's any other cutting or things moving up the stream, it protects the drop structure because it's a lot easier to rebuild a grade control structure than it is to rebuild a drop structure. Correct, yeah, I mean, there's deposition here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that, that's a nice thing to see. I'm always looking for deposition in these structures. Where is it depositing? Is it doing, you know, what I expected? Vegetation. Here is the weakest point, and water's going right down there. So this, this structure works all right, but at this point now it's just getting flanked. Right. And it will, that will propagate and undermine the whole thing. And so we got to fix that. So what we need to do is we need to fix the elevation of this relative to this so that water gets pushed into the drop structure as opposed to outside and around it. So we'll fill the hole and we'll just take some rocks and we'll build them up and tie them right into this like a little wing. Mm -hmm. And we make sure that the elevation of these rocks comes up from the elevation of this log up into this rock up along the bank. And that should be, that should fix the majority of the problem. Here at the lower log drop, several things occurred. At the upper end, a tree root and embedded rocks prevented fitting logs properly against the existing bank. This caused water to be diverted from the center of the channel and flank the structure because water is going to find the path of least resistance as it travels downhill. At the lower end, a gap was left between the edge log and the bank rather than filling it in with rock and gravel. Water undermined and created a big hole. The top elevation is tied in flush with you know, these banks here. We don't want anything to flank it. That's, that's a no-no. We want all the water to go over the structure. You'll notice that it tapers down to the center of the channel and back up. So it matches the shape of the, the channel that we're looking to create. We want the water to be able to hit it and just flow smoothly over the drop. So we want to fo force the water over the drop, but also have it be able to smoothly move over the drop. Not, we're not using a drop structure to grade the channel. We use the grade control structures to do that. So we kind of stuffed some more rock and some more fabric in there, um, and then created these wings to help mitigate uh, the water going up the bank and funnel it down the grade. Great. Does anyone remember why the water was going into that corner with that rock? So it was on, on that edge, it was eroding underneath. There's a specific reason why that was occurring. This log was sticking up high and this whole area here was lower than that. So oh, water would come way. here and it could go this way and this way around the log. There was fabric here originally, but it just didn't make it over far enough. I think we have a significant amount more stability and a path for the water to flow over now. Another thing that I noticed was that the bottom tier of logs only went over to here that was because there were roots and rock that prevented the logs going all the way to the bank. Because that wasn't possible using logs, we put some big footer rocks here instead, and then we built rock up to fill that space. Overall, I think it looks excellent. They got a wing up there too, just to make sure the water doesn't go around that side. And uh, I think it's gonna function really well. That concludes chapter four. We talked about alternative vertical control of water using wood, not rock, vertical stability and slope control, water piping, the use of fabric and smooth wire, some common mistakes and why they occur, as well as how to fix them. Please see the references posted below this video. Chapter 5 will talk about another slope control structure, the log mat. Chapter 5 will autoplay, or you can bail out now and watch it or any of the other chapters on your own schedule.